Hello friends, I am here with an interesting new item. It is a 32 inch photo box manufactured by Sam Tain and sold by Box Unis. That's B-O-X-U-N-U-S. And I'm very excited to pop this sucker open and check it out because this is my current photo box, which I absolutely adore, but it's very small. This one here is 32 by 32 by 32, I believe actually. Yes, it is which is quite large and I'm actually pretty excited to see what it looks like. So let's open it up and check it out. It's packed rather tightly in this small box, which is a surprise. I was expecting something a little bigger. But would you look at that? It's in its own carrying case. That's nice. I wasn't expecting a carrying case, I was expecting just a pile of parts in a cardboard box. But alas, they have delivered this pretty awesome carrying case. Hopefully inside this carrying case are some instructions. Ah, speak and be heard. All right, so I've got this big giant table, and now we're going to check out the manual and see if we can't put this thing together. This is what they look like. Let's give that a try. Step one is to use the eight pieces, three-way connectors to connect all tubes to be a cube studio body. So it's referring to these things right here. So let's put the other thing the square. Absolutely no instructions on how to do that, but I think we can figure it out. So I'm going to place the corners against the table, grab it firmly here and just push down and you can actually see how it slides down into the metal base about to where the corner bracket is. Then flip it over and do the same thing again. Once you see they're all lined up, it should make a square. Do that for all your corners and move along. Step three, place the studio body above the background paper. The directions are absolutely awful, so we're gonna figure this out together. I'm gonna peel off this door. Here you can see there's a velcro hole for shooting from above. And here is a cable routing hole where the lighting wires will escape from. And there's your front, which is the large access for shooting from the front. And if you're gonna shoot from the top, you can put the reflective door on with Velcro. And there you have it. Let's get the lighting installed. You can see all the LEDs on this thing there is quite a bit. I'm going to take these hooks and twist them around 
so that they hang this way and it exposes the port for the plug. And when I reach in here and clip them on. Now, when you reach in here and clip the lights on, you're just gonna push the clip over the, the rods, the tubes of the body. Now they're secure. So if you put them on and you think you're gonna slide them forward and back, that doesn't appear to be the case. Maybe after some use, they'll loosen up, but they're very tight right now. They're very secure. They're very firm. So clip them in place where you want them. And you're going to route the wire out this hole in the back. The first thing you want to do is take your plug and take the adapter from the plug and stick it into the female connection to this guy. This has your controls for on, off, and brightness of your lights. You'll also notice it has two ends, one for each strip of lights inside the box. Okay, when you clip these lights on, make sure that the plug for the cable is on the same side or else you won't have enough room to hook it up. You're gonna run the wire through the access hole and then plug each of these into the back of the LED light. I would run the cable up over the LED light. And make sure when you plug these in, you leave enough room for the wire because you don't get a whole lot. And that's what your connection looks like. You can probably clean it up a bit, which I will do after. When you're all done, turn it on. And you can adjust the brightness of the light with the knob on top. The directions don't mention what to do with the white cloth item, which just simply says white cloth, but I believe it to be a diffuser where you're gonna take the metal clips and clip it across the top. To make soft box like diffusion for a softer light. We're gonna see if we can install a background without taking the whole thing apart. I've unzipped the side and I'm going to attempt to slide this in. Okay, since you probably can't see what I did, I just slid it underneath the bar and then gave it a turn and then worked it up underneath this flap here and this flap here and then underneath this flap here. Now, because this was curled up, it was rolled up into a roll. It really wants to come up. But I think after warming up some and staying in this position for a bit, it will uh, lose that curled shape and hopefully be more comfortable in this flat shape. Okay, so there it is with the black backdrop installed. Turning it on, you can see it's quite bright. You can see the black is a material that's somewhat reflective, but it's also made out of a vinyl-like material, so it's easily cleaned, which is nice. I don't like how the metal framing is exposed and I think I would recommend some foam board or cloth or felt or some other material just clamped up in the corners and draped down as opposed to this background material. But as it stands, that's what it comes with and that's what I have installed and this is what it looks like. Overall, I think it's an interesting box for the price, it's not so bad. It does have one fatal flaw and that is the requirement to take it almost apart to install the backdrop. So if you want to change the backdrop, you have to unzip it to install the backdrop. And even the way I did it is a bit of a hack. They want you to unzip the whole thing. Zipping this thing up is very hard. I don't know if it'll get easier with repeated use if this material will soften a bit and make it easier to zip and unzip. But I had a really hard time getting it to zip. 
and I wouldn't want to have to do it multiple times or frequently to change this backdrop. So that's a bit of a fatal flaw, but your traditional photo box has backdrops that clip on inside anyway, and you can totally do that with this. So it does kind of become a non-issue, although it's disappointing that I don't really think the backdrops it comes with are super useful. I think you should come up with something on your own. As it stands, I have the black on. I'll leave it there. If I want white, I will clip something inside instead. That'll make this thing much more useful. And uh, other than that, I'm really happy with it. I'm quite excited to use it. It's huge. It can even hold my most enormous rotating base. Even with this ginormous rotating wheel in here, I still have all this space. So this is a very big box. I can't understate how huge this box is. It's this big. That's one big box. So there it is, the 32 by 32 by 32 photo box. You can grab one by clicking the link in my description. It's ginormous. You are on Greg Adventure. I'm Greg, and this enormous photo box was today's adventure.